What's going on everybody? I'm Jake the Long Kid. Welcome back to yet another video. Today folks, we're talking some grub damage in the lawn. A little earlier than normal. Because of that, it's actually a different type of grub, believe it or not, that was attacking my lawn at that time. I'm going to show you guys the whole problem, how I diagnosed it, the treatments I used and all of that to take the lawn from what you're seeing on the screen right now to what it looks like right here behind me in real time. All right, guys, so this is actually a video I have been wanting to make for quite a while now because over the last month, I have been seeing these comments left and right on my previous video that I did actually showing you guys proper watering techniques. You see, one of the things that often happens to lawns in the summertime that I think is very important to be vigilant about is the color change and texture change of your turf. For example, one of the things we talked about in that last video where we talked about watering properly is that what could happen is the blades of your grass plant as they dry out in the summer time if you're not getting any rain you're getting a lot of direct days what happens is they dry out and they turn this grayish blue color once you see that that's a great sign to get down some water and if you would like to learn some more techniques on how to make sure you're getting down the proper amount of water the proper watering schedule all that it's a good idea to get water on the lawn when you're seeing those visuals this video is going to be for those of you guys though who have done that however you're still unfortunately seeing a little discoloration in the turf that is kind of similar to if you weren't putting enough water on on the lawn but you are i hope that makes sense the lawn is not responding as it should could it be a problem insect? The answer is yes, and it's a little nuisance pest that will catch you by surprise as it does mirror the image and look of the grub worm in the larval stage, bill bugs. All right, so this is what we're dealing with here. Look at these little guys. You can probably come on over here and just film it. <laughs> Might as well. There you go. Look at that. There was, there was like six of them here earlier. Rip this up again. Oh, there the, there's one more. I'm gonna have to seed this later. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that right there. Pick them up. You'll kill them too, I know you will. Look at that. And you just kill them. <laughs> All right, folks, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this video down into four different parts. Number one, we're gonna talk about the billbug family as a whole, as there's a couple of different species that you might come across depending on where you're at. And then number two, we're gonna talk about the life cycle of the billbugs and how they compare to the life cycle of grubs. Number three, we're gonna talk about treatment options. And number four, we're gonna talk about a recovery method for your damaged turf, considering that at the time you're watching this video, maybe you haven't done any preventative actions this year because because you really didn't see a need to do it. And because of that, you are actually discovering the bill bug damage right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I patched all that up in my own lawn here with very little time and very little effort and the products they used in all of that. So that's how this video is going to go. All right, guys, so number one, we are talking about the different species of bill bugs. So there's four of them. Number one, you have the bluegrass bill bug, which I have confirmed you have in my lawn as I have a bluegrass lawn in the Midwest. Number two, you have the hunter bill bug. This one is often found in warm season lawns. And for three and four, you have the lesser bill bug as well as the unequal bill bug. Now, these two can be cited in either or. However, it's very rare that you actually see these two compared to the hunter as well as the bluegrass bill bug. So if you're anything like me, you have Kentucky bluegrass for your entire lawn then chances are it is going to be bluegrass billbugs so could be one of those four keep that in mind <laughs> Now, as far as the life cycle goes for bill bugs, it's very, very similar to grubs. However, the only difference is activity is going to start happening above the ground a month or so earlier than the grub worms. You see, if you've watched any of the videos that I've made in the past about grub worms, essentially what happens is they're in your lawn, buried down deep all winter, feeding on your soil, feeding on your roots, all of that. And they come up around June as beetles where they have just laid their eggs for their larva who munch on your lawn all throughout the summer, which by the way, you're not really seeing damage on that until August and September. Now, this year, I was taken by surprise because I didn't really know much about bill bugs as I was seeing this damage a little bit earlier. As a matter of fact, end of June, beginning of July, and that's where you're typically going to see bill bug damage. They're munching on your lawn all year round, they bury down deep, and then they emerge as beetles again 
the next year. So that cycle's kind of repetitive. It's the exact same with bill bugs. However, it's a little bit different. Let me show you. Talking about black bugs that are going to be crawling around end of April, all through May, a little into the beginning of June, after they have just laid their eggs in the stems of your bluegrass plant. Now keep in mind here, for purposes of this video, we're actually going to dial in a little more on the bluegrass bill bug for purposes of this video. You see, me, I live in the Midwest. I have a Kentucky bluegrass lawn. I really haven't had any other lawn in my lifetime, right? Now, if you have any of the other kinds, the applications that you're going to be applying are going to be a little bit similar, but anyway, you get the idea. So the bluegrass billbug, the way it works, especially here in the Midwest, is you'll see these black critters crawling around end of April all through May into early June, where they have just got done laying their eggs in the stems of your Kentucky bluegrass. And then over time, what they'll do when they hatch, they'll start feeding on the crowns of your grass plant. And then from there, they bury down deep. They keep munching on your roots all throughout the summer, rendering your grass plant weaker because they've eaten away the root system, right? So at that point, and as a result, your lawn is a little discolored in some spots, and those areas that are a little discolored from the damage are easier to pull up. Let's go ahead and talk about treatment for these pesky bill bugs. So it is very similar to the grub worm. You can prevent them in the springtime, which if you haven't done that by the time you're watching this video, that's not going to work. You can't really prevent them. Or you can get down a curative application that will actually kill them in real time. So what I actually recommend when it comes to treating bill bugs or grubs or whatever's munching on your lawn right now, I actually recommend getting down a two-way insecticide that will number one, kill them on contact immediately, at least within 24 hours. And then number two, provides some residual to keep them out of your lawn for the rest of the season, which I actually did here in a little fun video shoot that I did with Alan Hayne, the lawn care nut, on the 4th of July. He came to my lawn, we hung out, and on top of that, we also sprayed down one of my favorite products to help, number one, kill the bill bugs on the spot, and number two, prevent them for the rest of the season. Check it out. Yeah, gotta get this done before the pyros come out, start blowing stuff up. You gotta get this done so I could leave. All right, yeah. my contract is up. I'm only here long enough for you to work and then I'm out. All right guys, so the product of choice for today, which in this case is Mission Kill the Bill Bug Grubs, is going to be this product by our good friends over at BioAdvance, not sponsored, I promise you guys. I would let you know if it was. BioAdvance Complete Insect Killer. Now, one of the things I like about this product right up front is it actually advertises to you right up here on the front page. It tells you it's a two-way formula, which means it's going to provide you, number one, a couple months residual, in this case, three months to help kill any grubs that might end up in your lawn if they ever start to munch on your roots. And number two, it will kill them right on contact after you spray it down. And it does that for the following insects illustrated on the label, which if you look in the lower right corner, ding, 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 there's our good friend's grubs, which means it is going to kill the grubs on contact. And it's also going to provide three month residual. Now, if we look a little deeper into the chemistry, you could see this contains active ingredient imidacloprid, which for those of you who don't know, imidacloprid, that is like a neonicotinoid, which basically sounds like nicotine. And as a result, what it's going to do to the grubs is it's going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to suppress their appetite. Number two, it's going to amplify their nervous system, which as a result, it's going to kill them off if they ever attempt too much on your lawn or if they ever come in contact with the product when you spray it down. So that, my friends, is the rundown. That's what we're spraying. Let's spray it down. All right, cool. Well, you're going to be here for a while. Hurry up. Because <laughs> I'm taking my sweet ass time. I got seven time. other YouTubers more important than you to collab with. Right oh, now. good. Good to know. You missed this corner right here. Yeah. Thanks, Al. Got you, man. You're the best. So best case scenario, you're able to do this. You're watering like normal, you're mowing like normal, your grass is looking great despite these little critters eating away some of its root system. It's really some basic things that you could do though to help that grass reroot. Because at this point, the goal is reestablishment. Number one, watering deep and infrequent like you always have been. That is a great way to help those roots kick back into the ground quick and fast. And number two is actually getting down an additive that will help push deeper root growth. One of my favorites being the RGS product from 
from our good friends over at Green County Fertilizer. The reason it is called RGS is because that stands for root growth stimulant. That's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to help kick those roots back down into the soil where they belong in a quicker amount of time. This product has so many goods in it. It's got carbon, it's got seed kelp, it's got all that good stuff. And as a result, it's going to help push deeper roots back into the soil in such a short amount of time in conjunction with all those other things that you are doing. All right, here we are a couple of days after that billbug treatment we did. Damage from ripping up the lawn that day is still apparent, and these areas will rip up easily, so all that's really left from here is to repair the root systems that have been eaten away. Might as well just take this up anyway. It's already... The damage has been done at this point, right? Check this out. Look at that. That is the carcass right there. They're all dead. All right, so here is the lawn, present day, August 2nd, maybe at least a day before this video goes out. And this is what the front lawn is looking like right now. You guys who've been watching the video remember that this area, mostly this quadrant right here, was overtaken by the bill bugs. And as you can see, with watering three times a week for the last month and fertilizing and mowing and pretty much the big three that we always talk about mowing fertilizing and watering doing all of that properly with one another you could see that really really helped this area fill back in oh and i forgot to mention the rgs2 that helped a lot with getting the roots back down into the ground in addition to the rgs another product that i actually did put down to make it a little bit darker actually a couple of days ago by now was the 700 green effect you guys know who've been watching the channel that's part of my double dark combo that we saw on the site if you want to check that out all that will be linked down below but uh yeah 700 by itself contains six percent iron spray that down at six ounces a thousand you could see really makes a difference on your turf getting that iron in there just helps make it an extra shade of dark green so that in a nutshell guys is bill bugs if you're seeing them in the lawn right now this is a great time to get after them to keep your lawn in pristine shape just in time for the fall heading into halloween as that is the last time to show your neighbors who's boss so that's all i have for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like leave a comment down below let us know what you thought about it if you have any additional questions or comments as well and want to pick up any of the products that we found in this video by the way link down below to the website for those who want to check that out leave your comments leave your questions all of that down below really love the engagement here in the lawn care community it's so fun to talk with all of you so that's all i have for you today i'm jake the lawn kid thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video later